on this computer. We are officially in the time where we're going to do a Q and A. If Bao is still here, awesome. Joe, where yet? I am here. What? I am also here. <laughs> oh shit! I knew it's like Darth Vader, man. What's up, guys? Do you have any questions for the team, man? It's the, it's it, we got Modern Rock, we got T Bradley ninety, and we got the Joe Kelly Meister, dude. Hit us up, man. Make what a quick two fifty. Join MIC. Dude, that Bro, was yeah. arguably probably one of my best memes. That, that's Wait, some I didn't, of my best work. Shit, I didn't see it. When Alex won the DoorDash girl, I want to make a quick. <laughs> oh, shit. Now, that's dirty, dude. That was what dirty. I was going to say was I, I tried to find another I tried to find another picture, and I was going to be like, Alec. It was like going to be like Alex and then a chick, and it was going to be like, hit this line, and she like goes to hit a line, and he's like, no, this line, and it's like a chart. <laughs> Bro, I'm still trying to get past that. You think two hundred? And I was like, I was enough. like, <laughs> I was like, yeah, it's, uh, that's gonna fucking take way too long, dude. You, you want? You <laughs> I was like, I don't something? have time to mess with Bro, that. Bro, you want to hear something? I was so pissed. So I've got kind of a heavy foot with driving, but I got away with that shit in Cali, man. I'm fighting two speeding tickets, man, because it's I came to Arizona, easy. and apparently the light gets you, and it's a full speeding ticket, as if a cop pulled you over. So, dude, I am fucked in insurance man <laughs> bro like in texas you roll through a stoplight and the cop will be like you're good you're good nobody was around dude arizona you go down the flow of traffic and <laughs> i swear to god bro two lights got me randomly i didn't even know until they sent it to like my mom's address or something and i was like you gotta be fucking kidding me dude and they're full-blown speeding tickets dude but if you're holding your phone in your hand they will light you up <laughs> here like, so, dude, so to, to conclude the speeding Texas ticket, will I, light you up bro to conclude the speeding ticket i don't recommend this but i paid someone a hundred dollars to do the traffic school for one of them i couldn't do traffic school for the second one so now it's gonna go against my record <laughs> Wait, they don't have deferment in cali i dude i'm in az man you don't even know what deferment is do you tell me so defer you you have the right to defer like one speeding ticket every x number of years and basically what it does is you end up paying for the ticket but you uh again this is not legal advice i just have to clarify that guys this is not legal <laughs> advice i'm not licensed i'm not right now, a practicing a lawyer in the state of texas um but you you just you just call the the 800 number and like talk to the DMV and ask to defer the ticket or you sometimes you have to hire a lawyer but there's like these speeding ticket lawyers that do hire all this what? shit you got to hire a lawyer and they pay, you, pay you you pay the lawyer like 50 bucks and they show up to court and defer the ticket for you and then you just pay the ticket fee and so it doesn't go on your record you pay the ticket but nothing goes on your record so you don't get screwed Bro, can you just say lawyer one more time? <laughs> lawyer, lawyer. And now you're on it. Law? Well, it's not lawyer. Dude, it's not lawyer. The lawyer like, if, was loitering. Yeah, it's not lawyer. It lawyer. Say, I, I mean, say the word L A. Like spell. Say L A W. Do you say law? Law? It's the law. Bro, I forgot my own what are name you? by this point. Does anyone have any trading questions? <laughs> Just like, in Texas, we pronounce it hatch spelled. Hell, how spell? If we spell with a law, Oh, I literally said law. It, it was, and I found out about these with my ex-girlfriend. I was, I told my ex at the time, I said, if I get a third trading ticket, I'm taking a fucking scooter down to the grocery store from now on. I gotta like, I gotta Bro, turn yeah. in my car. <laughs> <laughs> Say cool whip. <laughs> That's probably like one of my favorite episodes of Family Guy when he's like, <laughs> when at the end of the episode when it's when it's Meg and she's eating the pie and she's like, oh, I need some Cool Whip. <laughs> oh, I remember. And Brian's that. like, you're eating hair. <laughs> he's like, or no, Stewie to bra or something like that. It was like, you're eating hair. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who's got some trading questions, guys? Hit us with trading stuff. Who wants to talk about charts? So. Let me, yeah, Bjorn, let's definitely get in that. The one thing I wanted to talk about today, uh, I think, shit, I accidentally made this one. So let me let me go over the four tickers. Give me the four major tickers today again, guys. It was Cat, Cat B, Nayov, yeah. 
uh, OBLN, right? And it was. And then wasn't um, what was that low hanging fruit today? That was uh, runner ears, 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 ears. eyes, so let's, eyes let's... and ears and mouth and nose. <laughs> head shoulders knees and toes he also the best tweet for that he was like dude and here i am just waiting for ass backside <laughs> <laughs> so here's here, here's what i want to introduce really quick to you guys today today was a hard day dude and i'm gonna tell you why coming into the market and this is just a, just a quick lesson for you guys we came in the market and it was a very slow trading day it was very slow obln was not up yet so let's actually take this off radar these were the three and if you go to like live, right? Like if you go to it live, so say like we're coming up on the open and say, these are your two options, man, outside of a low hanging fruit, which is a day two play, correct? These are your two day one options. Bro, we got one that's super broken. It, the pre-market high of day is up here and it's opening down here. Then, <laughs> yeah, Tay, not in options though. Well, in small cap world and equities, Naob was the hot chick, right? So this is like the strong stock of the day that everybody's anticipating is maybe going to get bought up by a pumper, a furu. This is going to gain attention on the day while maybe ears and cat be kind of fade off. So what happens is, and the reason why I think this is a great lesson for you guys is a, a couple of us took actually a loss on cat B today, myself included. Here's the difference though. Nine times out of 10, actually 10 times out of 10, I would take this trade over again. You short oh, it, you Dude, Joe, right? It's broken absolutely. down. It's this this, we talk about this every single week. It's ramping up to VWAP, but here's the problem. At simultaneously, when this was ramping up to VWAP at this time, people realized that Naob, not only did we start on a slow day, not only that, people realized Naob, dude, is kind of untradeable with these halts. You see these random price action gaps? These, This was a halt fest, dude. So not only did this almost go off radar, that's what you have to trade. So you need to do that visually. Take it off your screen to go, oh my God, there are two options where people are going to throw money. Guess what? Pumper gets in, we get a fucking launch, dude. And this was a launch. This, is, this shouldn't have these type of candles. And then that's all she wrote, man. So what I wanted to bring up is, and let's blow this up real quick, is when Cat B is that one exception. It's that one time out of 10 where you do lose. If you didn't have a hard stop, you are dead. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that one is corn dogs, man. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh shit, that's funny. Now you should have put that in front of those charts that break down like the middle finger, man. Gosh, like. That's too funny, man. <laughs> he should have put the corn dog right under the cat bee chart. <laughs> the corn dog fits right there. So the point okay. is, guys, the point is, and I'll, and I'll wrap it up with this lesson because it, it's actually brief, but it's it's quick, but it's effective. Is this is when you admit defeat on the trade? It's that it's that ten percent of the time that got you, like me and Alex were saying in the main trading chat today, and you lick your wounds, and then you attack once it declares basically backside under VWAP later during reversal time and Bao was hitting it, right? He was, uh, where's his trades earlier he posted. This is the shit I'm talking about, man. That now you wait for the time-based trading that make it easier on you when you have the edge again. But if you're posting all of this all day, I, I mean, I'm sorry, if you're adding to all this all day, th this is not trading, you are gambling. So that's, that was kind of the way to look at trading today. And I just want to make that very clear because I got a lot of DMs on that, man. I got a lot of DMs. Uh, Joe, where are we at? How do you guys adjust to the low hanging fruit? So, real quick, I got something to add to that real fast. Go ahead, buddy. <clears throat> Besides my awkward Muppet meme. Um, so a lot of people are probably going to do this. And if I ask Tosh this question, and if I ask Bao this question, I've asked Alex this question, I'll ask anybody this question that has been a consistent trader for a while now. The fact that Cat B is that one out of, let's say, I mean, I'm, I'm comfortable to say this is the one out of 10 that don't work. 10%. Like yep. it's 90% of the time this setup works, but this is that one out of 10 that don't. Are you going to change anything going into the next trade? In this next trade, are you going to do something different? Well said, Joe. Well said. Most people, 
that have been consistent traders for, for a long time. It, okay, let me rephrase that. New people coming in are gonna take this trade and it doesn't work and they're like, oh God. And now the next nine that come around that work, they're gonna miss them because they think it's gonna do a cat B again. Yeah, they're exactly right, dude, that's brilliant. And I then once they see oh. enough, that work, they do it again, and then that's the one that fails. I, 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 I want to tell something about Cat B. The reason we, whoever lost on Cat B, well, these you are the You can hear him chewing the corn dog. <laughs> <laughs> you got to be there, brother. <laughs> I'm full of corn dog. <laughs> I'm full of corn dog. Got to jump in here. <laughs> <laughs> Let me swallow first. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell something like that to joe you know you know what Th these are the examples where we cannot win every trade okay and then when you lose make sure it's small and manageable yes. so if you lost on cat b it's okay man there's nothing i mean i don't fucking get scared of this shit it's because i kept my losses manageable right uh where i fucked up is yes this doesn't really happen often and so i sized more than i should have and i kept on you know, but my loss were manageable, you know? So if you go back to the process, I broke the process by shorting above the pre-market high. I didn't lose that much. I mean, I'm okay on it. But if you go back, if we, if you follow MIC process, that says 30% on the front side, when, and you're supposed to stop out at the pre-market high. And if you did not, you're going to get killed. So whoever did not stop out the pre-market high got killed. Um, simple as that man i mean you broke the rule if you if you stuck to the mic process you should lose you know a manageable small manageable loss yeah hell yeah dude and bow let me let me add to that and say guys so like we said again i i can't stress this enough i got 10 dms of people saying well tosh what did we do wrong i said brother taking the trade was not what you do wrong if yeah, you nobody did anything wrong past pre-market highs that's where you were wrong i would have taken this trade over and over again because it was broken we go in VWAP, we start scaling, but this, dude, this is the cutoff, man. If you're holding past 243, bro, you're a gambler because here's what happened. That's not only the pre-market high, you know, you got the 250 level coming up. Dude, it put in a top that got reclaimed. It put in another top and got reclaimed. This is not a stock to fight, dude. The volume, look at this, is gradually going up, dude. The demand, look, I'll, bl I'll blow it up. The demand is getting more and more. What do you think it's gonna do? And you're yep. on a slow day. And here's the best part. What does the demand do when it breaks under VWAP towards going into reversal hour? Bro, it's gone. Why do you think Bao was shorting the failed pops to VWAP? Where's the demand? This thing doesn't have bars like it does right here. If it had bars like this over here, Bao wouldn't have been shorting. You see what I'm saying? The demand has dropped off. It's failing under VWAP. Then yes, you can attack these pops. You can hit these. But dude. Hey, hey guys, you, you guys have to understand that if, if even if you lost, but you followed your plan, you follow your process, to me, that's a win. The same now, yep. Now the people that don't have, let's say they're learning a new process, they're learning a new, they're, they're new to all of this. They come in, they don't think that they know the process very well, but in turn, they actually, you know, they did the right thing. But because this trade did not work, they now think that they need to change something about their process. They think they need to make an adjustment. They feel that maybe they could have done something better because Correct. it was a loss. And that to me is where a lot, uh, I've seen a lot of people do this. They'll, and I'm guilty of this myself. I will do something because it's like, okay, I see this edge, I take the trade, and that's the one that doesn't work, but I miss the next five, six, seven, eight, nine opportunities because I was like, oh, the first trade I ever took was a loss, so why would I ever do that again? It's like, it. so it, it, you're not letting the kind of the law of averages play out. You're you Because you're, you're always switching it up, man, and you're exactly, always winning yeah, your like, capital. I took one loss, and now I have to change everything. And but, then that's, but that's the thing, man. If if you are so green and new that it happens like that, then you, yep. you you just have to do it, man. You just have to just fuck up and fuck up and then hope you don't go broke before you work. <laughs> I mean yep. I mean that's the thing. People oh, oh I don't I don't trust alliance. A lot of the people tell me like I ask them, what's your problem? What what, Dude, what is I didn't the trust trading alliance. house? You I don't didn't trust alliance. Yeah, I didn't so trust you know him it, in the it, longest time until Bao finally would, he said, Quit being a little bitch. 
<laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you something, man. The, the equalizer and all this, guys, is the risk management. You have to put your stops yep. out. You have to take your. You have to predefine your risk, and that's that's the secret of trading, in my opinion. The secret of trading, not these strategies, dude. It's how you manage the risk when you're wrong. Guys, and check this out. Bao what? told me that I had to call. I called James, and I was like, "Hey, bro, I just I just talked to Bao, and you know, he just said because uh, I was going through like a losing streak, and I was like, what the fuck am I doing wrong here?'" And Bao was just like, "You just got to trust your lines and quit being a bitch. Just take the trade." And yeah. I called yeah. James, and I was like, "So Bao just called me a bitch." Uh, <laughs> yeah. So that's great. Yeah. Here, 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 here is a tip for you guys out there, guys. Everybody's fucking afraid. I'm afraid, dude. Whenever I'm afraid, it's because I think too much. I overthink. I'm, what if I fucking blow up? What if I lose all my money? How the fuck can you lose your money if you don't fucking go all in and then you don't have any stops in place? So the first thing you need to do is to alleviate the fear by predefining your risk, saying this is how much I'm, I'm allowing myself to lose. Put the fucking stop in. Do the proper sizing. The moment that happens, you're like, why are you afraid? If you can put in a $100 max loss on the stock, and if $100 still makes you afraid, then you're sizing too much. Size down. And, and even and, if losing $1 scares you, then you're in the wrong business, man. Go go, go and fucking become a, <laughs> a nanny or some shit. Dude, and, 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 and guys, put keep it. Like Bao said, man, the more you overthink, the more you're just going to complicate yourself. Dude, taking a loss is okay, man. Look at the difference, though. Risk management is the equalizer. Do you want to risk this and be a smart trader and let the law of averages play out and you have a process that works? Or are you adding, adding, adding and stopping out at 324 and you risk that? Look at the difference. Keep it, do draw it, illustrate it. Look at how dumb you can be if you just keep adding, adding and letting, letting a winner and then you stop out at fucking 320 because you just can't take it anymore and you've blown half your account and now you want to quit trading. When all you do was cut, Reattack later and make that money back. I took a hit on this, and then guess what? Made my money back on Zoom and Corsair this morning because me and Faye followed our large cap process. To the point, but if get a if tap, guys. First this, trade. Is, this is an example of you need a tap. So look what happened to Tosh. He he, he made it back following Faye. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, uh, I think I think Faye followed me on Corsair and I followed her on Zoom. <laughs> But also on Cat B, there was a second setup here. Just because it broke pre-market highs doesn't mean the trade is done and over. Correct. If you look at the chart, like the big charts chart, like we do, if you look at this chart, you'll see where the next trade came. And I talked about this phenomena in, in Philly, where if you're trading at highs at zombie and it's at resistance, <clears throat> the odds are that demand dries up and you fade. And right. then that's when the top gets set. Like, and this is what Bao and everybody talked about constantly. Wait for that top to set and then grab those pops. Well, and Joe, like you said, if you don't have the balls or you're a little bit scared to do any form of front side, even 30%, wait for a candle like this, guys. Wait for a candle. And if you short the small pop that it offers and risk that, you have predefined risk and you're waiting for an opportune time during what he said, highs at zombie hour. You're not being a dumbass and just getting in for the sake of getting in. You see, yep. what, you see what I'm saying? Well, the demand, <laughs> you know, that, you know that's, what, guys, that's you know why what? the- It's okay to miss a trade. If, yeah. if you fucking, if you lost on that stock and you're scared, it's fine, man. Just fucking take it off your screen. You don't have to beat up and win every stock. Move on to an easier one that you can handle. Uh, short time, Absolutely. really quick, just to not get too into it because Joe Kelly's the large cap teacher, but uh, wicks are panic, man. So when you see a massive down wick like this and to couple this with a 400 support that Zoom has really been basing off for the last like couple weeks, when we got this panic wick down, that's usually a sign of a reversal. And then you have a teleport blast through Zoom uh, 400 level, get long, boom, sell the rip. Simple as that, buddy. Uh, but uh, Joe can explain more of that in his webinars. <laughs> and use your pivot points. Use your pivot points for large caps. Uh, I think we, I think Bjorn had a specific question about low hanging fruit though. Let's see. Yeah, it was back up here. I was scrolling to that just now. Um, how do you guys adjust to the low hanging fruit in regards to market changes? For some periods, it really pops. 
other months, it only pops to its, to its own pre-market resistance. And then there are extreme periods when it mostly tanks at the open for weeks, like in the summer. I, I you, you can stop reading, bro. I, the moment that he started on the second line, you are overthinking too much, dude. <laughs> He's taking factors at like market conditions, the weather, the day, what the climate weather. changes. <laughs> the climate I mean, changes. Bro, this is fucking trading, dude. You don't need to go into open up USA Today and figure out, you know, what's going on in North Korea, right? <laughs> uh, I mean, fuck, dude. The, the, the reason we trade small caps, right? The low hanging fruit small cap. Small caps don't give a fuck who the dictator of Korea is during this time, right? <laughs> so, you know, I mean, you overthinking it. This is the problem with trading. Most people way overthink and then they overcomplicate shit. And that's why they're scared of the lines. But what if the, the stock gets to the lines and it, it fucking, it parabolics and teleports 25 points? I mean, dude, you can overthink anything. Just stick to the process. And that's the problem with the low hanging fruit people. Because they, they, they always, like, try to change the, where they put the fucking lines. It's the same shit, dude. Don't overthink. Because what happens it's, is this. It's, that. It's, it's, it's like this, guys. I'm with someone like, you know, Blackjack, when you either double down on, on 11 or you don't? You know, if, if you always double down on 11, always double down. Because what happens is, oh, this time I'm not going to double down. And then you get 11. You're like, fuck, I should have doubled down. The next time you double down and you don't get 11. I mean, you don't get the 21, right? So you need to be consistent. Okay, what you do is this. Don't worry about any external factors. Take a look at, are you early in the lines or not? And then readjust it. You know, trading is all about readjustment. So what you can do is like, it's cat B. If you got hurt by cat B, learn. Figure out what the hell you're going to change. Because you know yep. what? In my opinion, you're always going to have to adjust. You know, you readjust, but it's not because of the climate conditions, right? It's because you were wrong in the lines. Well, and, and, and like Bjorn, I can't say it enough, man. And I think not to out you or anything, but, but I think I've told you this a couple of times, just like you tell Vic, dude, I, when you're too in your own head, man, you're, you're, you're gonna really get in your way, man. Keep it simple, bro. The, the only traders I see that have a really hard time uh, that may have been even in the MIC for a, for a, for a good amount of time are the guys that are looking like what Bao said, every single condition needs to match up perfectly. And if it doesn't, what do we do here? What guys line to line, man, if it doesn't hit your line, don't trade. If it does bro trade double down on 11, like Bao just said, it's, it's the analogy of psychology and use your stops. If you're not using your stops correctly, then yeah, you let one go against you. And then guess what? You think you're a shit trader and you want to quit or you change your process. Then you lose again. Then you go, wow, I don't know anything. I'm bopping around from long to short. I'm cutting here. I'm not cutting here. Guys, we have an umbrella MIC process that works for every single trader in here for the ones that follow it to a T with the minute differences that work for their specific process, but it's still the same teachings. Time-based trading, hard stops, where you should be stopping out, per what time, when you should be quitting, and the line to line. And if you use large caps, then you want to use what I'm about to put on right now. Uh, it, it's, it's like the sports guys, right? Pivot they, lines. Like the Major League Baseball, they get in a slump, and they change their swing, and now they're confused which swing was good. And so they need to go back to the sports psychiatrist to figure out what's going on. It's the same thing, man. Overthinking is a fucking problem in trading, just like sports, just like anything else. It needs to become a reflex. I talk about this often, right? Correct. Keep doing it over and over and become until trading becomes like a reflex. So you don't want, I don't want to think guys. So people ask me, how are you so fast putting all these orders out? You know, to be honest, when the market fucking opens, I don't have no time to think. Because what happens, I have no time to think I'm scared. Because what happens is this. When I lose is when I overthink. When things are so – this is why I keep telling people, Dude, when the markets are time. slow, people lose all their ass. Because they have too much time to think. Oh, my God, it's filing, all this shit. I just fucking do it. And, and so – and that's what happens. You have to train your body to the point where it just becomes a reflex, guys. Dude, isn't it? Isn't that funny, Bao and, um, and Joe? Isn't it so funny how, like, once you get – a process dude it's almost like every single day like you almost phone it in not phone it in because uh, trading takes a lot of fucking attention but dude it, it gets to a point where it's almost like 
you, you just do it. You just fucking do it. Like, it's like a reaction. Yeah, it's like you said, man. Once you have a process that works, guys, you should be able to eyeball a stock within two. <laughs> Here, here's a good analogy. It's, it's like having sex. Well, the first time you have sex, you, you're so fearful. <laughs> oh, you here we you go. think, I need to do this. Oh, I need boy. to do this step. And then now it's like, fuck, you can do it in your fucking, you know. <laughs> Dude, in the, in the first, bro, the first time you're trying to get laid, you got crib notes, you're setting up like candles, yep. you got freaking you're poems. sweating, dude. And then you have performance issues and all that shit, right? <laughs> You got whiskey dick. <laughs> No, no, that's exactly right, guys. You, you just have to do it. Everybody, you know, no one's a pro like fucking Tosh, you know? <laughs> it took me many iterations to figure out what the fuck I was doing, you know? <laughs> well, that's why Bao beats a lot of us in I, I in still do. I still practice because, and can't create that part, bro. <laughs> but, dude, he just wakes up and he does the same thing every day. He's like an algo. An algo isn't going to go, what are the market conditions? What's the weather outside today? What's the barometer reading? What's yeah. the uh, – it, it – what – no, the algorithm doesn't do that. An algorithm rarely does that. An algorithm an doesn't algo. change was an, what an algo does just because yesterday it didn't work. Right now, if low-hanging fruits are squeezing further than what they normally are, guess what? You're in a drawdown period. Yep. You're in a drawdown period on your P&L curve trading low-hanging fruits. And when that drawdown ends, then you're right back into the uptrend. Yeah, and like, if, if you think we want to time that, you're going to fucking wreck yourself. If you change something about what we tell you to do, do we tell you to check the fucking market conditions? No, we've never said that in the MIC process. We've never said that. This is exactly what people do. They come into MIC and they think this bullshit that they've had or been taught from other rooms or other services they think that they need it. They think that that is going to help them make MIC process work even better for them. And guess what? It never fucking works. It never nope. works. I spend my entire day, seven days a week, talking to people about their experiences in other places and why things are this or why things are that. And nine out of 10 of them have bad fucking habits from bad teachers in the past that do shit that don't matter and then they try to bring it in and they're like oh well maybe maybe if i walk outside joe, and, joe dude i gotta add to um, that do you uh, joe let, let me add to that dude my but, favorite, dude, no matter how many fucking times i say it people don't stop doing it bro they my, still are like but what if and i'm bro, like my, fuck your what if <laughs> just listen Dude, my favorite DM. Oh, hey guys, once time. again, we we don't know everything. Nothing is 100%. Risk management is part of it. Before you enter a trade, you need to predefine your risk. Know where you're gonna stop out. Simple yep. as that. If it doesn't work, so be it. It doesn't fucking work. But your your process includes risk management, which will save you. If you lack, if you break down and do not follow the process, which includes risk management, I mean that's only you are to blame for it. Well, and like, and like going back, like my favorite DM of all time is when somebody will send me a chart and they're like, Tosh, I need your feedback on this. This broke down. So I chased and I lost here and support was here. I should have done this, but I did this. And I literally write back, I go, bro, you know, everything that you just did wrong. You fucking told it to me and you know what you did. Like, why are you asking me? I mean, dude, I'm just going to tell you exact. I, I literally say this. I go, bro, reread what you just wrote to me. You just said five things you know what you're not supposed to do in your process and you just did. And it's like the biggest eye opener they ever had. Going back, if you break your process, guys, it's or if you take a loss, sorry, if you take a loss, it's not that you change your process. It's that you go back and be like, okay, we're traders. Sometimes we lose. You see, yeah. you see what I'm saying here? It's like, <laughs> yeah. It's sometimes it fucking happens. Some drawdown period happens. But that yeah. was my point is, when an algo goes into a drawdown period, does the algo change its strategy? Rarely, no. Nope. Unless that's part of the algo strategy, which probably it's not. <laughs> that's Skynet strategy. A <laughs> uh, question from YouTube is, do you guys trade stock only? Do you trade small caps only? No. Uh, we have a large cap channel. That's primarily where I am. Um, and 90% of what I trade these days is options on large caps. So... Um, we've made an entire boot camp. We've made an entire series. We talk about that every Tuesday night. We talk about those strategies. So if you want to learn options and you want to learn MIC process, 
Come on down. Guys, we got it all for you, man. Every kind of videos you'll need. Literally anything, man. Yep. Oh, shit. What's the psychology behind a low-hanging fruit that makes it the predictable, easy trade to make? Is this from YouTube? No. Slack. This is from Slack. Then you guys should know, right? You watch the videos. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> Val talked my... about that phenomena in like the third trading fish video. Also should be in every, it's a continuation trade, right guys? It's a continuation breakdown, just like a continuation gap up. Guys, we hate bringing attention to this stuff, but please report these guys, man. They're impersonating us, this freaking scammer, man. Every now and then somebody just wants to try to recreate the magic we've done or scam or something. Just re please. And, and someone asked me, uh, so the, 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 the thing is, it's in the videos, guys. Watch the videos. I talk about it all the time in Trading Fish, so we don't want to uh, waste time talking about the whole thing because you have to watch the videos, guys. I'm telling you right now, it's very yeah. important. Because we, we, we spent a lot of time on it. It'll show you a lot of things. And no, uh, someone asked if I use hotkeys. No, I don't use hotkeys, man. He's that quick. <laughs> He's just I pre-plan my trades, guys. I wake up at 3.15 a.m. today. I keyed in all my orders. I already know exactly what's going to happen. This is what we talk about. If you wake up five minutes before the open and start slamming buns, it's like there's no reason, in my opinion, to use a hotkey. Unless Did you are you chasing. Sleep? It creates FOMO. Did you sleep? <laughs> Seriously, you never up that early, dude. Are you yeah, I slept early at eight. I slept at eight p.m. last night, bro. Wow. I've never known Bow to sleep in in like four years of friendship. <laughs> Look at that, there it is. So low hanging fruit fantasy order lines process. What I mean, what what video number? One? I swear it was like one of the very first videos. You should watch all of them. <laughs> No, that's that, but that's my point though. It's like yeah, if you've seen the first fucking three, you would know. Yeah, I know. I, I'm just like, I know when you're not watching videos, guys. I mean, the, the reason we tell you is this, I keep talking about this all the time. You guys join MIC not to copy trace from us, you join to learn. And so, you know, we are not, I mean, I love to answer these questions, not really, to be honest. I answer intelligent questions. I hate answering lazy questions. Um, I, I hate you guys to abuse anybody by using us as a search engine when it's in the freaking library, you know? And that's all we're trying to say. You know, we, we, we're just trying to help you guys because to be honest, if we, speak, if we spoon feed you, you are never going to learn. If, we, if I answer this question, you're going to ask another question that's in the video. You're going to ask, what is SSR? You know, it's just stuff like that, you know? You gotta ask you like why how does this affect that, you know? I had a member send me seven different bullet points of questions. So it was this question was this question. It's seven different questions about one video. My response was not like, screw you, just go watch videos. That's not what we're getting at here. That's not what Bao's saying. It's but I did not just straight out of the gate answer all seven questions in their own little thing. Instead, I pointed that person back to the library, back to the place where all that stuff is, because I know that if I answer all seven of those questions, they're not even going to go try to search and read or ex they're just going to take that as the Bible. And yeah, Val is going to explain something different than me. I'm going to explain something different than Tosh. I'll, and we all do it a little differently but it all blends together you, it comes you, together. you know how to research yeah. man i'm telling you right just like i'm pretty sure you play fantasy football and some of you guys you're not going to ask who's the best running back and just copy you know if you do your own research you're going to come up with five different running backs and the reason why and all that stuff same thing with trading putting a little time into it because the way you learn is an iterative process it's not just getting one answer and then moving on it's like one answer is going to pose 10 more questions and those 10 questions going to pose another 10 questions you see what happens? And so you, you basically, this is how trading works. And this is why we talk about the accelerated jumpstart. And to be honest, if you are just joining for two weeks, I have some of these guys join for two weeks and start asking all these questions. I'm like, dude, you're not going to learn anything in two. You're going to learn everything in two weeks, man. Hold, calm the fuck down. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> you, know, you went through one fucking video <laughs> and you have like a thousand questions for me. Hold up. Hold up, bro. Dude, that Hold was what up. I said. Hold I was like, like there's seven <laughs> questions here about an 11 minute video. Holy <laughs> shit. Because you know what, man, these, this is what trading is so, so complex, but it, it's simple. 
once you know it, it's simple, but it's complex to start because you don't know where to begin. All these terms, all these things are interrelated. You know, to, to trade, you need to know what a level two is. You need to know what a bid and offer is. You know what I'm saying? And so there's so much, but do not worry, guys. You immerse yourself in this, eventually you will understand because obviously everybody here learned. It just takes time. Do not it rush means- it. Do not rush it, okay? Are we still running the promotion on the accelerator, or is that over? We'll run it again today, so it's fine. Whoever yep. wants to. Okay. Up. So if you're not a annual or lifetime, people come in and they ask, you know, Monty members will come in and ask, they'll be like, where do I start? Well, Alex made a video on, the, on where to start in the library, but let's say, where do I start in learning what you guys do? My first thing is accelerator. If you don't have access to the accelerator, there's a promotion for that. We'll run it for the next, what, 10 hours, probably, eight hours till the uh, night? Probably yep. uh, t- till like tomorrow by low. Okay. So tomorrow by low, we'll run a promotion on accelerator. If you come in, you need the accelerator. That's going to get you up to speed, learning the process. And I swear to you, just focus on what we teach in the accelerator. That's it. Don't bring all this other barometric pressure bullshit in here from all these other different places. You don't need it. it you don't need it. Okay. Focus only on what we discuss in the accelerator. And if you don't have accelerator, if you don't have the accelerator, go here. When you come into this, go to myinvestingclub.com slash my MIC and watch every single video that Faye, arguably one of the most part. successful uh, beginner day trader, probably in day trading history, to be honest with you. She, she cut down every curve, every learning curve, everything that I've ever seen anybody ever do. And I've been doing this for nearly seven years. bow has been doing it for what, 15 years, 20 She's years? She's mine, Joe. Don't, don't even try it. She's mine. Don't try it. And oh, no, I don't want her. She was a dickhead to me today in a DM. <laughs> He goes, oh, you didn't long PLTR? Just chase it. And I was like, who the f- who says that? What is a jerk? I don't want you as my tab. Get out of here. But um, she's like, she's always like, you never talk to me. You never say anything to me. We don't, we don't never talk in DMs. Well, dude, you keep shooting her down, man. If you yeah, shoot her she shot and you don't apply. You want, me to tell me, you want me to tell me what happened? I'll tell you what happened. She'd be like, I like Apple here. And I'd be like, cool, yeah. That's great. She's like, I longed it last week. And I was like, okay, that fucking doesn't fucking help me at all. That's great. Thank you for that. I like it here too. If I had a fucking 110 average, you gotta be shitting me. Like, and, but anyway, so if you don't have access to the accelerator, watch this study guide. Faye put it together herself. And I don't know if you guys knew this, but this is what Faye does in her own line of work outside of MIC. She puts things together in a way that works for you to be able to easily understand it and in a chronological way that makes sense in a kind of like a pyramid of learning. And dude, she's Asian, man. She yeah, doesn't cut and she's Asian. So, I mean, what? who has better study habits than an Asian? Very fucking few. I'm More just going to say that. Very fucking few. It, it's... I, I don't know how, and there's literally like 10 sections in here, maybe 12 sections. And there's, there's like, there's 10 or 12 videos per section. And so you've got a lot of content to, to get through. So if you want to muscle it out and save yourself, what do we run? What's the promotion on the accelerator right now? I don't even know. We're doing, we're doing. Just, just, Tosh, just text Tosh. We wanna, just, just text Tosh on that stuff. So. Okay. So text Tosh for that stuff. But my point is the, the point here is you spend 200 to get into the chat room. Okay. Or you can try to save the X amount of money that it's going to cost to get the accelerator and work through probably about 90 to a hundred video lessons in here, or you can cut all of that out, go the accelerator route, save yourself a lot of time for probably less than a thousand bucks. It's way less. We, 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 we slashed it like 70% or something. Wow. Uh, Yeah. So yeah, it, it's pretty, pretty, pretty damn cheap. It's for you guys. So, yeah, literally. The, here's my point. It's going to take you three to four months to get through all these videos. So that's going to be 197, 197, 197, 197. Let's say five months, 197, right? 
or you can do 197 and then one payment of the accelerator and then cut all of that down and then boom, you're done. Joe doesn't like profits here. <laughs> <laughs> you, you share too much, brother. <laughs> well, dude, here's the point though. Okay, do People not get accelerator. Come in and they'll go 197 and then they'll blow out and they'll be like, fuck this. This is going to take way too long. <laughs> yep, Joe's right though, guys. I'm telling you right now. It's like nobody when, watches the fucking videos. So they're I not going to pay dude, us for six months. I, I, I am telling you, man. If like I had a profit, I, I'm Asian too, bro. If I had this shit, I would still be slower than Faye, but I'll, I'll be there. I'll be there quicker than I did. Yeah. I swear, man, it took me a long time because I didn't know what the fuck to do. You, you try every, everything. You, when you first start, you think of a thing called a holy grail, which means like, yep. if you got this secret sauce. Bollinger be Bands, you know, baby. The Bollingers. Yeah. Yeah. channels. And, and, and yeah. so you spend the first year just fucking trying to figure out what the holy grail was. And there is none. You know? I'm still yeah, trying to absolutely. figure out RSI after seven years, dude. Dude, oh my god! I'm telling you, it, there's times hey, when it works, and we're there's coming times up with a new ex uh, accelerator, man. Your, yours is called the Jumpstart. Hers is called the Kickass. And <laughs> Kickass <laughs> accelerator <laughs> coming soon. Volume two. Volume two. Yeah, volume two. Part two. It's just gonna be her. She go. Why you no study hard? And then it's in. It's <laughs> See, over. You know what? I think we just come out with the fail alerts. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna retire. I'm just no, you ain't gonna. Get, you don't want fail alerts. She'll send them to you a week fucking late. That's true. That's long I know, apple, dude. I get them daily, and everybody will like, be like longing apple, and then she'll sell here, and she'll be like, "Oh, I longed it last week at one ten, and there, and you're like, "What the fuck? I literally just got the text. I literally just <laughs> hey, got the you, fucking you're, text. you're not on the premium text list. <laughs> you're not on the premium. <laughs> that you only get it three days late, and the platinum. <laughs> Yep. platinum it's still a 24-hour delay yep. <laughs> bro i get real-time alerts from her and dms and i'm getting a week there later too <laughs> <laughs> the chick's been in freaking apple for a month and yet she's like i'm adding here at 122 i'm like oh we got the good average she's like at 99 <laughs> yeah I was just like, i'm gonna add here and you're like all right cool i kind of i don't really like the entry here why I'm are you like, adding well, damn, i got like, a oh, average. Average. what you're do you like, mean oh, what the fuck is this Oh, your, get out of here with your 88 average. Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> oh, dude, I remember, I remember Faye was like, I was like, when's the first time you bought Zoom? And she was like, yeah, I had it at like 40. I was like, holy shit. I know. It's, I was like, uh, I thought the best I ever did was 370. <laughs> No, she was the angel investor. What are you talking about? She is an angel, in, <laughs> right? Yeah. Bro, she went on Shark Tank. <laughs> uh, yeah. Joe, you remember when we sold ZM at, at 240? Yeah, I do, Faye. I do. Yeah, you guys are idiots. I think about it every day. <laughs> Just kidding. I think about it every day. Bro, I'm long at 395, and you guys are idiots at 240. Jesus. I think about it every day. Well, I remember selling GSX at 50. I remember selling Run at 35. Um, yeah, I hey, what the hell? liked you the living shit money, out of man. all of that. She was in small caps. Now she's in large caps. I, yeah. Hey, so screw you guys. I'm I sold you. Lyft today a fucking entire point ago. So that's great. Try selling Amazon at like seven. Hey, maybe it's time for me to go to large caps. I'm going to fall off there. Well, I, I mean, me and Brian been trying to tell Bao that, that the MIC process works even better it does. in large caps. I'm thinking it does, man. Uh, I mean, I've been saying it for months. Brian been saying it even longer than me. I think I'm gonna pull up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull up. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Dude, don't get Val FOMO. No, Val, watch the clock. I, I, watch the I, clock. I, I, just, I, I just have to educate in the main room. That's the reason. I'm taking one for the team, man. Faye, well, Faye I post the watch now, list. I post the watch Faye, list. Faye follow your my process protege. every day. You're the every Asian day. Protege, I'm, I'm supposed to get 10% or something, right? Right, yeah, finder's fee. Guys, so today we are gonna honor the accelerator another day. So text Faye alerts to my phone oh and we will get you accelerator for a huge <laughs> discount yep text fail alerts <laughs> or bong rips there 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 is bong a, rips <laughs> she takes payment in um cannabis and mushrooms right in doordash what where's alex now it now it's not going to be somebody says forex and all of a sudden Alex shows up. Now it's going to be somebody says DoorDash and Alex shows up. Alex has been quite quiet since his DoorDash in. girl got there. 
Recently. Yeah, DoorDash has has definitely arrived by now. And They've silenced Alex much. somehow. Is he making? Is she yeah. making that two fifty? I just think she's making that two fifty for that Wait, ticket. That's why Alex is telling me that Apple Pay somewhere? What? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> it was a <the> Cash App. <laughs> cash App, yeah. <laughs> it's for everybody that doesn't have a bank account. I got the cash app. Got the cash app card. Well, you got the cash app card because all of your fucking overdraft fees with all the other banks, and they won't let you join. Pay dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> Text Tosh pay dickhead, and you will get a discount. Even more of a discount. You'll get even. You'll get ten percent on top of our discount. <laughs> oh shit! Who's the dickhead? <laughs> No, uh, it, question for Joe. Does he trade reversals for big caps or a similar pattern like low hanging fruit? Yeah, I do. Yep. And we teach that. We teach that here. Bro, let me tell you something. Unless it's cryptocurrency, there's nothing we don't teach. <laughs> That's right. Oh, my God. <laughs> Alex, right now. <laughs> Wolf of Wall Street. She's like, you got that 250 or what? <laughs> we don't teach politically correctness, though. <laughs> <laughs> So for the reversal trades, I don't trade past 1030 um, ever. I don't say I, I rarely, unless it's a swing trade, but I don't day trade past 1030. Oh, so you stick to the rules too. Absolutely. Yeah. Guys, any Same closing show. questions? We have five minutes, man. I want to wrap this up. Oh, there was a testimony. I was trying to find Joe that talked about the options. So, so talk about that real quick. Like, Oh yeah. So um, that's just one of, I, I probably get a testimonial like that once a week, maybe twice a week. Um, I don't ever share them because uh, most people are kind of they're private. So I don't really ever talk about it, but we've had several testimonials. One was public yesterday. Uh, a member came in <clears throat> $700 account, learned our process and has now tripled that account in less than, uh, I think it was like 30 days, 60 days, something oh, like that. Good. Tripled his right. account. Yeah, there you go. Well, we, Started to watch, tripled that, that account since office. I've been, Options don't have PDT rules, so. Yeah, you just trade a cash account. Yeah, and so they settle T plus one. So if, if you buy an option on Monday, sell it on Monday, you can trade that cash again on Wednesday. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, if you have a $700 account, you can buy a lot of options contracts with 700 bucks. And you can blow that shit up really fast. But if you follow MIC process, that shouldn't happen if you're following the process. That Cause be- to, cause I'm telling you, small caps – you know, it, it's fucking not easy. <laughs> Nothing is easy, no. but having a PDT on top of that makes it even harder. And so we have a lot of options for you guys, because once you learn the process, guys, you can go trade whatever stock you want. Yep. Yep. That's the beauty. We just want, we just want you to learn the process first before you even make any trades. So people, I'll give you an example. Like you go, I only have $700. How can I learn? Well, you're not going to be trading the first day. You're supposed to be no. learning for a few months, man. You know, education is the, the key, first of all. It's like a doctor. You're not going to go operate someone on the first day, right? And you're continuing to save money that, like, Bao has preached about for years. It's You don't try to grow your trading account in the market. You grow your trading account with your job, and you learn, and you grow your mental account with education over the years of time over years and years and then eventually it just bloop, clicks and then there you go yeah dude if you're if you're having money troubles and tomorrow you're putting the pressure on a brand new trader trying to make money to pay your rent trading dude yeah it's the wrong way to approach the market man you're just dude, jesse livermore talked about that in the reminiscences of stock operator like a hundred fucking years ago or yeah, even longer ago. back it he talked about there was this analogy where four of the biggest wall street traders were all sitting in the room and they all wanted to buy their wife a new fur coat and they all proved they were all going to prove that they were so great in the market that they could make the market pay for that new fur coat and every single trader lost no way and jesse livermore's conclusion was like he's like you can't force the market to pay you for anything no matter how great of a trader you think you are you have to take it when it's there, but when it's not, you cannot try to force money out of the market. Phase like challenge accepted. Right back. Yeah, phase like challenge accepted. Let me just go find one of these fucking NBR trades. Like, let me just go flip five thousand dollars real quick. Yeah, let me go look at these like super low volume stocks. 
Let right, me go look today. at this really fast. Look at this great stock. To, look at this great trend. Faye, it trades 500,000 shares a day. Nobody wants that. Text Faye for coats and we're going to get you at an accelerator discount. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that girl at DoorDash was trying to make money to learn to trade. Alex, where have you been this whole time, yeah, man? You've been Alex like just pops girl, back in bro. here with the five pages worth of videos. He's doing private coaching mentorship. <laughs> Alex is back, man. The DoorDash girl satisfied. Holy shit. All right, guys. <laughs> are we done or are we? We're this done. is a hell of a webinar, man. Before? Seriously. We, uh... <laughs> I'm reporting you all to H. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time, Joe Kelly. <laughs> Oh, bro. I'm Joe lives in HR. <laughs> I live there. Oh, shit. Joe runs HR. Guys, this was awesome. Seriously, text Someone me. Write up. A joke. <laughs> I will. Oh, yeah. Alex you. is mad at me because I was like, Alex went to college? Oh. Like, he's been mad at me ever since about one o'clock today. So. <laughs> yeah, you got to, you got to I, make I, it I up to do, a man. Send him another diploma. DoorDash. <laughs> I, I've never saw the diploma. I think he's a paper college. <laughs> Paper graduate. Paper student. <laughs> Alex, for the record, Bow and Joe were clowning on you, not me. I oh, got you, bro. I got you. Ass. Oh, man. Here he comes. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Gosh, gosh. <laughs> I don't like <laughs> you. Little, you little oh, skinny. Oh, 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 <laughs> Snitch. All right. Here's what we're going to do, guys. Seriously, text me and we are definitely going to take care of you, especially in the accelerator course. Stand alone. If you're having trouble in your trading, man, I'm oh. telling you, you need a membership at MIC, but the best start you can do is a membership with the accelerator. If you don't have both resources, get the accelerator. Uh, but guys, definitely hit me up. Uh, any DMs that we'll get to. Uh, Last Faye, thing. Enjoy, enjoy your weed plant. And uh, what's up, Joe? Yeah. Uh, Last thing. Somebody asked on YouTube really fast. I, and I missed the IG yesterday. Did Bao announce a giveaway of some type? Oh, fuck. We forgot. Again. Oh, shit. <laughs> Come back next week. <laughs> Dude, sorry, man. We just ran out of time. We'll be more prepared on that next week. But yes, sure, we do we have the winners. But the beginning. We might as well be able. We would have totally do it. Actually, let me do it on Instagram Live on Tuesday. Yeah, Alex, we're going to we're, Alex, Alex will do half, and I'll do half. Yep. We don't want to half ass that, guys. We want to really announce we'll the winners. We'll do this, guys. Them, so. we, 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 we will take a punishment. We'll do, uh, instead of five winners, we're going to do uh, maybe six winners, three on Monday and three on Tuesday. Adding another, adding another slot. So get your, do it, get it. Get your right, entries. We'll that, Alex, we're going to give away three 100s and then uh, three more 100s on Tuesday. Sounds good, All guys. Right, this was super fun. And uh, watch the videos. Watch the videos. See you all later. See you guys. Bye.